What was gay life in New York City like in the 60s? Well, it was wild, but at the same time there was a repressive street because, you know, uh, uh, they used to raid clubs a lot. And not, uh, not, um, not very, un, 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 um, not un, um, unlike now. I mean, they're raiding clubs a lot now, uh, uh, and, and it really does get sort of reflect back to the 60s. So, um, uh, but like, you know, when they raided the Stonewall, uh, I was in the Stonewall Rice, actually, you know, and they, they used to go in and raid the club, that, you know, on occasion, they'd raid the club, you'd check your ID and do that whole number. You'd have to sign a book, you know, to get into the club. So although New York was wild and crazy, you also had that little streak of those uh, conservative people who wanted to, like, squash everybody's party. And no matter when you exist or what we're doing, we always, we're always going to have a faction of people who want to squash, a party poopers who want to squash the party. And so New York in the 60s isn't unlike it is now, really. We have people like us who we want to party and be creative and be crazy and have a good time. Then we got the other people who want to party poop, you know. But I guess, I guess in the end it evens out, really, I think. Why were they raiding Stonewall in the 60s? Well, actually, the, 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 uh, they didn't have a liquor <laughs> They did not have a liquor license. But it was an excuse just to it was, it was an excuse just to hassle gay people really, and you know and hassle the drag queens back then. Uh, uh, they they when they when they harassed gay bars they did it a lot more heavy heavy handed. Of course when they would, when they would raid a, a straight place they didn't have a liquor license. You know a straight place they would a straight place they would just go in and give them a warning and walk out. But when they raided a gay place they put the queens behind the the bar and. And they, they they did a sex a sex search, so they took the drag queens behind um, in the bathroom and, and with a lady cop, and you had to pull down your your things to show what sex you were. It was called a sex search. They don't do that anymore. Thank God they don't do that. Anymore. But was, back then they did that. Was it illegal to cross dress? Why were they doing that? Uh, there were still some old laws on the book that that uh, uh, about uh, cross dressing and about the idea that. If, 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 if there was a man dressed as a woman, he might be involved in criminal activity. But they just used that as an excuse to just uh, harass people, really. And it was, it was actually called a sex search. They would take the people who they weren't sure what sex they were, they would take them in the bathroom, and you had to expose your genitals and define your sexuality to the police. Luckily, it's not that bad now. You don't have to do that anymore. That would be totally illegal now. Totally How were you illegal. affected by that? It made me rebellious, it made me mad, it made me angry, it made me sort of a, a, a revolutionary, and it made me sort of, you know, you know stand up for, you know, stand up for myself. Because all my life I've had to, you know, even in Georgia, I mean, I've always had to stand up for myself. I always had to do that. And, um, and, and in some ways, that, that in some ways, see, a lot of the, um, you know, the drag queens and the beatniks and the hippies, and all, everybody kind of had to stick together at one time because everyone was kind of being harassed. And so it kind of, you know, generated as kind of a, an atmosphere of togetherness with everyone, you know. Did you feel safe being out in the streets in New York City in the 60s, going to a place in Stonewall and drag? Would you take public transportation? No, 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 no. How would you get around? You wouldn't take public transportation. You'd be murdered, honey. You'd be murdered and killed. Um, you take, you know, not now, you take taxis, a friend has a car, something like that, you know. And a lot of the times, a lot of the girls would actually come to the club and they'd get ready in the bathroom. Stuff like that, yeah. But some of the girls who looked really good, who could pass, like Miss Twiggy and Miss uh, Miss Tammy, a lot of the Stonewall girls, they looked really good. They could they could kind of pass. What is the girls that could not pass? They had a more harder, more of more of a hard time. But a lot of the drag queens lived down in the village in some of those rooming houses. So they get ready down, you know, in the rooming houses down in the village, and they only had a couple blocks to walk to the Stonewall or wherever. And it, it was um, it could still be dangerous.